Today I want to talk about five things you should know when using the range mask tool inside a Lightroom. I've been using the range mask tool a lot and today I want to talk to you about five things you should know when using the range mask tool inside a Lightroom. The first thing that you should know when using the range mask tool is you don't have to have the auto mask feature turned on. In fact, I recommend you turn the auto mask button off when you're using the range mask tool. I have found for some reason that the auto mask feature gets in the way when I'm using the range mask tool. Some weird things start to happen, but the moment that I turn the auto mask button off, things go back to normal. So don't have the auto mask button turned on when you're using the range mask tool if you want to have the best results possible. The second thing that you should know about the range mask tool is you can find it in all three of the local adjustments you have available to you inside a Lightroom. That means you can find the range mask tool inside of the adjustment brush, the radial filter, and the graduated filter. All you have to do is activate one of those three and scroll all the way down to the bottom of that tool and you'll see the range mask tool available to you. And this is really cool because those local adjustments work in different ways for different reasons and it's really nice to have the range mask tool available to you in all three of these options. The third thing you should know is that the alter option tool is available. This thing never ceases to amaze me. Every time there's a new feature added to Lightroom, the alter option button on your keyboard seems to activate something special and magical. And this is no exception. If you hold your alter option key down when you're using the range mask tool, it will actually show you a preview of as if you were looking at a layer mask inside of Photoshop. That means that your photograph is gonna turn white or black instead of using the overlay mask inside of Lightroom and I actually like the alter option tool better. If you've never used a layer mask before it's really simple. Anything that turns white is going to be affected when you make your adjustment. Anything that's black will not be affected when you make your adjustments. So hold your alter option key down to get a better idea of what is going to be affected when you make that adjustment. I think you'll like it way better than the overlay mask. The fourth thing is as it relates to making color adjustments. Now, I've mentioned in the past that you could hold down your shift key when you need to make multiple color selections, but I found that there's a better way. If you click and drag over the colors that you want to adjust, this will ensure that all of the colors in that range will be selected and therefore affected when you make your adjustment. I found this to be much more accurate than holding your shift key and clicking on specific colors. Obviously, you'll find uses and different reasons for using either one of these tools, but so far the click and drag method has definitely been my favorite. Go ahead and give it a try and see how it works for you. And lastly, the fifth and final thing that you may or may not know is when it, you're using the adjustment brush to make some selections, you don't have to be perfect about this. And in fact, I recommend that you don't be perfect about this color to your heart's content and be as messy with this as you want to. There's no need to try and color within the lines because at the end of the day when you activate the range mask tool and you start to use those sliders, those sliders are really going to dial into the selection that you were trying to make. And so having a little bit more to work with is usually better than not. If you are getting more than what you need you still have the eraser tool to your to your disposal you can always activate erase and go in there and erase anything that was added to the selection that maybe you didn't want so hopefully you found uh, this information useful i have really enjoyed using the range mask tool i think that it's made a huge difference in some of the things that i've needed to do inside of Lightroom and I'm really happy that they added this in. It's also saved me from having to go over to Photoshop and make some of these changes there because now I have access to them right here inside of Lightroom. And you do too if you're on Lightroom Classic CC and hopefully you are. And until next time, have a great day everybody.